How safe do you think Russia is for a foreigner? I'm taking my digital camera with a fancy tripod worth about thousand dollars, my iPhone worth another grand some cash, wearing expensive clothes and driving an expensive imported car. On top of that, I'll be speaking English loudly. That makes me a perfect target for any mugger in the city of Rostov-on-Don. After it gets dark tonight, around 8 p.m., I'm going to three locations that used to be absolutely most dangerous spaces in the city of Rostov and trying to get myself robbed. First, I'll answer a couple questions. Am I crazy? No. Why am I doing this? I would like to see how this country has changed over 30 years. I remember when I was growing up, I was a teenager, young adult, this place was incredibly dangerous for any person, not just a foreigner. And I'd like to see if it's dangerous or safe now. What's the best way to experience it myself? Take everything expensive, flush it, and see if I get in trouble of some kind. And no, I'm not giving you any spoilers. Watch until the end to see what happens. If we're meeting for the first time, welcome to Letters to King, where living in today's Russia explained by the insider you can trust. I've just arrived to the destination number one, a small city park called Sabino. It's located right in the middle of a residential neighborhood. It's very isolated. It's located far away from uh, the police station, from everything basically. And it used to be a local hangout of the boys, you know, the hoodlums, the hooligans. We just used to call them the boys. So the local boys would, uh, they, they certainly knew everyone who lived around, the locals. And if you were an outsider and decided to venture into the park at night, you'd certainly be asked questions, part with your money or your valuables. Adjacent to this uh, main street, Oh my God, there's a family with little kids. It's past 8 p.m. Saturday. There are dogs, dog walkers, and the kids. Not dangerous. Oh, go. Possibly a dog fight. The first thing I noticed when I came here is this place looks very different. It used to be a very old park with high trees, high bushes and dark alleys. Okay, there weren't any lights here. So after dark, it would get absolutely, well, dark. Not like right now. Uh, and you would just walk in the alley and people would jump left or right, right onto you. The boys. Uh, this is not so anymore. In the recent years, they've done renovation. They've cut lots of, well, all bushes are gone. Just uh, the trees, the tallest trees are, are left. Uh, like, for example, from this place, you couldn't see the road and the cars coming. And uh, certainly there aren't any boys. This is not the park that I know. It's totally different. It's very light, kind of decent looking it's not run down like the old park tons of trees tons of bushes everywhere and then there were alleys and like these alleys they were the you know the focus of all danger i've gotten into trouble a few times here beaten up mugged jumped on but hey you know what i was growing up in a very rough time in one of my previous videos, I told you about one of the surprises that foreigners would face coming to Russia for the first time is the lack of trash cans. Well, this park has, tr has trash cans every 30 to 40 feet. The center of the park, I see a lonely lady walking down. Oh, yeah, everything's so bright. My friends, the first place is a miss. I certainly don't sense, don't smell any danger here. It's absolutely safe. I'm flushing money here. I have an expensive camera and you know, I speak English loudly, nothing. This is not the boys playground anymore, but the children's park. 
let's go to another place. Let's move to a second destination. We're going to the very center of the city to Gorky Park. Used to be, hands down, the most dangerous place in the city of Rostov-on-Don in the 80s. After dark, oi, I wouldn't even dare walk there. Pretty scary and pretty dangerous. People got mugged there, got robbed, got killed. Aye. Let's go and see how it looks like in 2020. This is my destination number two. Back 30, 35 years ago, this was the focal point of street crime in the city of Rostov. This was the most dangerous place. There were legends about this place. You couldn't step inside of this place after dark. Uh, there was a local gang, a um, bunch of boys inside, and then the best thing could happen to you, they'd, they'd take you money. So I've come here to check it out, and boy, am I shocked to see what's going on. Take a closer look. A Christmas tree, bunch of decorations, tons of people and family with kids. I have a pretty good feeling that there will be no danger inside whatsoever. Better go in and check it out. So this is the central alley. It's still the same, but it's all lit up right now. There's tons of lights everywhere. This place was dark, you gotta understand. You just, you would cut through and there was no light there, okay? Uh, there's a bunch of bushes, trees, left and right. Masha. I... Little souvenir shop. You see all those dark corners, dark alleys? That's where the danger was. Same on the other side, on the right side over there. Right behind that little theater, open summer theater. You see three boys walking towards me. This place is not so big. It's actually a tiny place, it's tiny Central Park. Certainly I draw interest from passerbys, but I don't sense any danger. They are genuinely curious, what am I doing? All right, now see. This part of the park is still not lit. You kinda, you kinda see one side right there, uh, some light in the other side right there. There's no light whatsoever. I'm going to walk down there and check out far dark corners. Again, 30, 35 years, I would not dare to get here after dark. Getting down to the dark alley. Looks like there's a couple on a date. There's a little tunnel. Older people. Okay, this is where I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to walk around this little area and then go up and check out that part of the park that used to be also dark and deserted. Gosh, can barely see anything here. Well, basically it's boring. This place is empty. A few couples on dates, a few people walking their dogs, and that's it. There is no danger here whatsoever. Certainly not the place to be mugged. I'm actually pretty embarrassed that I've come here to check this place for street crime because this doesn't even remotely smell like anything like street crime here. Not a chance. This is a Christmas tree park type of thing. There's tons of people, older people, younger kids, teenagers, families with children, little children. Oh, let me tell you, this place is 1000% better. It has improved tremendously since 
the days of my childhood. It's the same place, but I remember it being very, very different. Totally safe. I gotta go and find another place. <laughs> I thought this would be the focal point of uh, my investigation and the most dangerous place. But the only trouble I've seen here so far is four more bloggers walking around and, uh, you know, filming whatever they're filming. Now we're moving on to the next destination, number three. I think it's going to be intact, just the way I remember it from the, the early days. They're advertising PlayStation 5 everywhere. This is destination number three in my list, the slums, the old good ghetto. One of the poorest districts, neighborhoods in the city of Rostov-on-Don, one of the oldest and the poorest. There's no running water, there's no plumbing, no sanitation, no flush toilets here, uh, houses are, they're not very well unkept, upkept, and you know, in general, this not a very pleasant place. The poorest people live here, and um, this place, this neighborhood was notorious for high street crime. Poorest people go hand to hand with plenty of alcohol, and alcohol is, uh, you know, reason of a lot of troubles. There was historically lots of murders here, domestic violence you know things like this look there's a stray dog right right behind me yeah i've heard this music before shit that's pretty scary you know? <laughs> look at this the dog doesn't look friendly you know i'm going to take a walk down the street okay i'm speaking english loudly there aren't too many people but i'll show you what kind of houses there are around. Well, let's go check it out. Ancient houses. Believe it or not, but these are windows. They actually have rooms uh, below the ground level. This is a window. All right, I have a, a strange guy walking right behind me. Let's check it out. What's gonna happen? Trash everywhere. He didn't want to be filmed as drunk. It's walking, wobbling. I don't really smell any danger here either. I see lots of uh, not terribly expensive cars, but the foreign made, Toyotas, Nissans. Um, this place used to look different back in the days used to be more rundown it's more hard to say it's more civilized here look the house is well the street signs brand new ones appeared and the houses most of the houses have uh, satellite dishes that means that people are not so poor that they can afford satellite tv Another dish. Uh. That little side street does not look inviting at all. It's completely dark, so I'm gonna take a walk here. can barely see anything. Another stray dog. That's a one long street and it's dark just the way I remember it. See skyline over there? But this part right here is so, so poor. I think I'm done for now. There's not much further down. I'm gonna walk back and uh, walk different direction, check out what's what's cooking the other way. You see, people don't have flush toilets, so they just empty their porter parties right here on the street. And this is Russia, 21st century. Can barely see, but some some houses are just. 
falling apart. Hi. It's in the bad shape. This is kind of main street running through this neighborhood. This is the a focus of all life. There are a couple stores. And this is where I'm going to walk right now too. I don't smell any danger in the air. Actually, this is a very quiet and sad place. It almost looks deserted. I remember it different. I've been here a few times back like 35 years ago. This was the, this place was full of life. There was a bunch of shenanigans going on, gypsies all around, people on the streets, you know, has life and now it's dead. I don't know. I don't know whether it's good or bad, but it's sad. This house is deserted. Probably can't see it, but this huge piles of trash. There's another slump street over there. There's a huge pit right here. It's not so safe, you know. I'm freezing. I think I'm gonna wrap it up. I've gotten the idea of how dangerous this place is. No danger whatsoever. The rare passing buyers, they're probably afraid of me walking around with a camera and, you know, filming something. People live there. Now well, it's probably a challenge to drive on this road right here. This is real Russia for you. Big. Don't forget, this is the center of one million people, modern Russian city. Another side street. Ah, nothing here. The stores look nice. I have not parted with my camera, money, clothes, telephone. I have not seen a remotely dangerous situation or dangerous people. I think if I was walking around all night long, nothing would have happened. In general, the places that were full of criminal activity, were full of street crimes, they're absolutely safe. I'm cold and glad that I haven't gotten into any kind of trouble today. So here's the summary. Last night I visited three places that used to scare me when I was growing up. The first is Sabino Park, second is the Central Park or Gorky Park and the third is a poor neighborhood, the slums. I did not see anything, anything remotely close to being sort of a danger. I saw sad people I saw plenty of Christmas decorations, many families with little children, lots of dog walkers, and very sad and poor people. That's it. I did not see any danger. I did not get in trouble. I did not see any remote trouble. I didn't even smell it in the air. You know, when I was growing up, it was so, so dangerous. I developed this danger radar, danger smell, you know, this. if there's danger anywhere around me, I smell it. Nothing like that last night, nothing, not even remotely close. I'm making an assumption that Russia is very safe for Russian-speaking person venturing 
after dark or for a foreigner. Rostov is probably not the safest city in, in Russia, but even in Rostov, even its most dangerous places, I was absolutely fine. So I saw what I wanted to see. Russia has changed tremendously over the past 30 years. And the changes are mostly to the better. But I guess it's a good thing. If you found this video interesting, please consider liking it and subscribing. Well, I was risking, well, I thought I was risking last night. And I was really, really frozen. I was cold. So please like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any further updates from Mother Russia.